Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to another online battle from Warhammer 2. So uh, this one is actually from uh, Shadow's Tournament and uh, we're playing as the Norska and we're up against the High Elves of Migsa. So uh, <clears throat> I've already lost one game, I won another and uh, this is the third, yeah okay. I got this right because uh, I, I'm afraid I'm gonna mix all these tournaments apart. Anyway, <laughs> that's my concern. So for my forces as Norse cover here, I decided to go with two wolves. One is the uh, Norse Ice Wolves and one is the Beast of Tasnar. Not specifically because of their anti-large. People don't know about this, but they have missile resistance of 50%. And uh, they actually are pretty damn nice even against uh, the dwarves. Like, the dwarves don't have anything large, right? They'll, uh, well. Uh, you don't have to worry. Like uh, just, uh, just you can bring the beast of Tasnar uh, just because of that missile resistance. It doesn't matter if they have uh, anti lards and you're not gonna need it. So yeah, I like bringing these guys even even against the dwarves. All right, uh, front line of uh, just five, six marauders. Nothing uh, fancy. We got a unit of uh, marauder hunters uh, with javelins in the back. Uh, and you will realize why because we have the uh, plague of rust over here to lower the armor and also the final transmutation on our uh, caster on top of his horse we also got the uh, soul crusher over here the war mammoth and the reason i brought this one is because of this ability the enraged one which you can cast uh, not uh, specific times but uh, just with a pure cooldown so uh, you hit this one, the damage resistance goes up by 44%, it, it makes it a really nasty uh, bulldozer against uh, even halberds or anything like that. So yeah, I really like this guy for this uh, matchup and he also causes terror and uh, fear as well. We also got Wolfric on a, on a mammoth which uh, I think like a chariot also for him and the wizard is more what's needed over here to be honest. Uh, we got the Hunter of Champions, Fight or Die, Sea Funk, and uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So uh, two units of Marauder Horsemen with throwing axes, just because of the armor piercing. Although I, I think I could uh, get away with just Marauder uh, Javelins, they can still do the trick. And also the uh, Mist Stalkers over here with um, yeah, just just them. I don't have any other Femir, do I? Nope, just one. So yeah, that is my army, and uh, for. Migsa's forces, as you can see over here, he's got one unit of Illyrian rivers in the back, probably just because of for the mobility and the mass, because he has nothing else large over here, as you can see, except the uh, noble, which uh, he's on a chariot and he's stripped down of his abilities, or what the hell is that? Sacred incense. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know about this ability. Oh, okay, okay, that's actually quite good. In a tight, narrow fight like that, which Mixa has uh, seemed to have gone over here, that ability actually seems kind of nice, even though if you go with uh, missile uh, firepower like javelins and stuff. Alright, so for the front line, he's got the Keepers of the Flame, the Phoenix Guard, another unit of Phoenix Guard over here, some spearmen, he also got one, two more of them. And also another Phoenix Guard in the back for his missile play. He's got a Lothen Seaguard and uh, he has positioned them really quite nicely because he has the advantage of that hill over there. So he doesn't have to uh, he, do he doesn't have to commit any Lothen Seaguard in order to fight as Mele. So even all three of these guys can actually uh, just keep on firing because this flank is quite safe. And also the Ever Queen's Court Guards over here, the Sisters of Avalon with uh, they also got uh, the banner of Avalon which improves the power recharge rate so Alarial here which sees on foot actually is gonna do just as fine she has the star of Avalon, arcane conduit, shield of thorns, earth blood, the shield stone of Isha and the boon of Isha so yeah this is a really nice tight and uh, compact build so let's fast forward a little bit because I'm a little bit too far away um, I'm obviously gonna be keep moving my hounds uh, from the back the uh, front line has arrived over here. I'm keeping my mammoths in the back. I want to send these guys first in to soak up most of the damage. Then these guys are gonna move in. And where's the... Uh, yeah, here is Wolfric. He's gonna be going from this side. So immediately Mixa is gonna aim after my Femir. The uh, Mistalkers, quite a nice choice. They don't have any armor, I mean uh, any uh, shield. So they will take the full blunt of the force. The Marauders are gonna cross into the front line against the Phoenix Guard. Which will just completely wipe the floor with them. 
And the other Phoenix card over here will do a just fine work against both of these guys. But a boat is gonna go down on top of both the keepers and the other guys over here. And the Soul Crusher is just gonna keep roll, uh, keep rolling in. My hounds uh, have already tried to commit in the back, but uh, it's just uh, spears all over the place. I'm gonna pull out. Just wait for this Phoenix guard to be pulled apart by Wolfric, and then these hounds are gonna go straight to the uh, Ever Queen's court guards. But Wolfric has all take, already taken significant damage because these freaking sisters have not been shut down and now yeah I'm still taking damage and my hounds uh, will have to fight some phoenix guard at least they're shutting down for a little bit the uh, the sisters my javelins are aiming for them at the moment just trying to uh, shut them down because I can't get on melee like they have spears over here they got everything um, I think a final transmutation is about to go down on, Al on Alariel or has already gone and she just healed herself up because I heard the star of Avalon being popped in my ears and uh, the War Mammoth, due to his ability, as you can see, Wolfric has dropped down to 50% health, but the other one is almost full, and that's because of that ability. The Femir are doing quite alright over here, although the uh, Phoenix Guard problem still remains. It doesn't help at all that he's up against the wall, so I can't get a good wrap around him. I'll have to commit from this side, so he's got one flank secure. It's like having like another Phoenix Guard over here protecting him, or even better than that, actually. So yeah, the javelins, even though they're uh, unleashing all of their javelins on the sisters, they haven't taken that much of damage. I mean, they are like down to half percent health, but they have only lost like 10 mod, not not even 10, like 8 models. So yeah, you can see that the javelins being thrown at them, they're not doing that much. The, uh, the Norskan Ice Wolves will try to ga come here and get them, but immediately the Lothen Seaguard are gonna respond. These guys are large, right? So yeah, they will have that bonus effect against them. And in the back, the uh, Marauder Horsemen are uh, trying to uh, pepper down the Noble because he's got like 110 armor and uh, he's the only, uh, they're the only thing that can even do any damage to that thing. As you can see over here, Wolfric is down to almost uh, 5, no, even less percent HP health. I'm desperately trying to shut these sisters down, I mean I'm just dropping on them as much as I can, but he's got Phoenix got here, he's got Lothan, he's got everything. His Illyrian rivers are actually coming back, and uh, yeah, the, these uh, keepers of the flame just being killed here by Alariel are just uh, tanking everything like a boss. Like there isn't anything remaining over here. The Femir are trying to catch on to the noble. Um, I don't know where the Soul Crusher is headed. I actually just pulled out of there because those Phoenix guys are doing just uh, crazy damage to me. And now there are, uh, the sisters are actually sniping the Salmon Sorcerer. The Bounce of Power was in my favor, but it has actually sifted now. Wolfric is uh, only like 208 spear remaining. My uh, hounds have uh, been fended off. Now he's got rallying forces coming back. And uh, as I said, it all came down to that freaking wall. Like uh, he doesn't have to commit uh, a lot of forces to protect his surroundings. He's got one. Uh, side completely uh, off and uh, he can just commit the Phoenix card on the other sides and uh, yeah this is uh, gonna be great for him. One Phoenix card has been almost melted but the Keepers of the Flame like they're crazy as health, these guys have health as well, the Soul Crusher is still here with his uh, amazing uh, damage resistant buff but it's not gonna be enough. He's gonna try to just get in there and get as much down as, as it can, but I, at the moment I still I have like no infantry. As I said, the reinforcements are coming back. These guys have run out of ammunition and they're quite um, worthless in melee to be honest. Unless they're just... Uh, I'm gonna use them as a cycle charge, but uh, in this narrow passage over here, I really can't do much. Like, uh, I can't just do anything over here. Wolfric has come back, he was retreating, and now the uh, sisters are gonna be aiming for the Soul Crusher, which is gonna get stuck for a little bit over there. I'm gonna try to aim, like, again for the uh, Ever Queen's Guard, but yeah, it's just not gonna be enough. I uh, still have, like, the uh, Keepers of the Flame on my back, the, uh, the same for the other Phoenix Guard, and it's just the quite of a mess over here. Like, um, and yeah, from here on, I think uh, I'm gonna get struck with army losses penalties. And this game is gonna end. So um, let's break this down. I think that wasn't a really uh, absolute, like a good build. Um, the only good pick on that was actually the Soul Crusher. I think Wolfric should have gone on a chariot along with the Wizard as well, so they could help a little bit better. The Soul Crusher, uh, his mammoth is just so goddamn big, and it 
it can get peppered down quite fast and you saw the difference there like Wolfric was already like 50% uh, HP as soon as he, en he engaged with the Phoenix Guard. He took like one volley from uh, the sisters, yes, extra damage, but he was half health, this thing was uh, almost uh, full HP. And still, he was fighting Phoenix Guard as well, so yeah, I think uh, that thing is only what's needed. Wolfric and the mage could honestly go on a chariot, and I hate to say it, but Spiritlets and Fate Buna is, uh, is kind of a must over here. I really like the final transmutation, but I, I don't know, I don't know. Perhaps, yeah, uh, perhaps the magic was okay, but you really need uh, also a couple of extra targets if you're gonna go like that uh, crap on uh, the infantry. The javelins, I really like them. I would actually prefer to uh, cut down the uh, Marauder Horsemen and just go more heavy on these guys, because they could have easily shot down uh, the sisters a lot, lot faster. And actually a lot more female. Yeah. Like, I had a lot of infantry, low level infantry, and I didn't have a lot of resources to commit behind them. Uh, they should, um, yeah, whatever, I, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, I, a few more Fimir and these guys on chariots. I think that's what uh, would be needed in this matchup. For Mixa, I really like his build, I actually used it against uh, Riddick, I think, in the first round, if I'm correct. Uh, I had some variations, I had a Lariol on a mount and uh, things like that, I didn't, I, it was the first time I show it, uh, I lost to Mixa, then uh, like 10 minutes later I was playing against Ripper, so okay, uh, I mean uh, Riddick, so I said, okay, let's try it, why the hell not, let's see how it's gonna go, I tried it and it worked, and uh, yeah, this is a really nasty build against the Norskans, and um, yeah, Phoenix Guard power, what can I say? So GG to Mixa, I really like his uh, style of play and uh, I really liked uh, the uh, Phoenix Guard over here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you next time. I really hope you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like or a comment and bye bye. Ciao guys.